Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Life Learning. In this episode, I'm just gonna do like a, a little bit of uh, talk about uh, my plan. Um, this is uh, what you're seeing here. Is that it's not actually it's not made inside Blender, but I think this is actually based on a, um, this is actually generated using an ad, uh, plugins for Maya. It's called Q Town. And this plugin has been around for many many years now, and I've been using it every now and then just to look at how it's being generated. I actually I was really impressed. This is like version two of the of the tools. Um, it was gen uh, it was actually created by Brave Rabbit. Um, you can search Brave Rabbit and find Q Town plugins. And if you have uh, if you download Maya and then test this plugin, it's actually quite quite incredible it's a it creates some kind of procedural city that's quite convincing even though it's pretty pretty simple and basic and I really really want to have these plugins created uh, as an add-on inside Blender um, actually I will use Sphere add-on to generate all this and that's actually my plan um, there's a couple of things that uh, the Qtown plugins can do it uh, in Maya. It's uh, basically it starts by uh, giving you some kind of grid, right? And then the plugins can actually do some kind of uh, intersection and a cutting of the grid. That actually can be done quite easily, whether using stretch off or using maybe like a cell fracture. So you can get some kind of like a Voronoi, of like a random. Uh, like a mapping and this is uh, what's the Brave Rabbit Qtown is using so that's the first step at some point I will talk about this just uh, how to break the, the map the second part is actually what's interesting is the how uh, from that plan um, the the Qtown plugin in Maya can generate this kind of building there's probably like some kind of presets of the building, uh, like uh, they're actually quite simple, but I, I I really like it. They resemble like real buildings, maybe based on buildings in New York, Manhattan. I don't know, but they, if you look at it, they look quite real. And the the nice thing about Brave Rabbit Q Town, it is also generating UV for the objects, and then you can apply. Um, texture to it and then you get like something that's look really realistic there there's also there's probably like a um, add-on for blender that already does this and um, I'm just interested in the process of understanding how to create this um, from scratch and maybe there's a just a couple of building like this building for example is super simple maybe I can just generate it in spray right away this one slightly more tricky but it's actually quite simple it's actually made of made of bunch of blocks um there's the one that's kind of like a like a towering this one actually i i like this one actually this is probably something that i will try to do using switch off that can be done this one's slightly more tricky but it i know it's all of them can have some kind of uh, procedural and it can be made into um each and every building can be made using nodes, I think. So yeah, um, I will attempt to do this. Um, I actually kind of make something a little bit earlier. It's actually kind of accidental. Okay, this is... I started with a box in in Spreadshop. So box is looking like this. By default, it is actually quite centered. Uh, it's not sitting on the ground. I can actually I add some kind of division to the box, which is nice. But uh, the box itself doesn't have a way to put it on the ground. I wish it has. Um, so I also kind of looking at this uh, vector math here. There is a um, scale x y and it's actually quite nice. I I really like this uh, these functions in Spreadshop. You can easily scale um, the box to resemble some kind of building. 
So I tried this one and I was playing around with it and I turned it into a monad. So I, with this guy right here, the one that I have, it's actually based on the box thing. Um, but this guy, I can easily randomize to get all kind of shape of box. I can adjust the scale slightly. And yeah, I think that's quite nice. Uh, this is actually um, a monad. Inside it, there's a bunch of nodes. It's not actually that complicated. I will make a live noting video that's solely talk about this setup. It's actually, I'm just using bounding box and then just you now based on the bounding box height, I divide it by half and then move the box up. So that's uh, super simple and this is just a little bit of variations with the scale. But I turn it into a monad. When once once these guys become a monad, we can easily vectorize and then make like a bunch of variations. And I end up with something like this, you know. It's a I think this is um this thing have like potential. I uh, we can actually add some kind of rotation as well, slight rotations. Even though the building is still currently just a box, but I think it's a good start. Um, if I don't want the rotation, I can get rid of that. I can change the, the size of the building. So we have the high-rise building and shorter one. I can easily adjust the position of the building. Uh, using the I'm using this plane and then I can generate the grid, like a grid of uh, buildings. I can remove the randomization or add slight randomization as well randomize the seed so a lot of things you can already done um, using sphere chalk it's very powerful and you see the setup is super simple we just have this box um, you can easily randomize the actual box instead of box maybe um, over time I will try to generate the building to I will base it on the Brave Rabbit Qtown um, plugins for Maya, but yeah, maybe we can kind of work it out together. If you if you are interested, you can make like some kind of buildings um, that I can add. This all these boxes can be replaced with that building hopefully one day. So yeah, high rise building if you like. I think the mapping part is also quite Im important. Like, uh, how how are you gonna arrange this thing? Um, for the Manhattan, for the New York kind of um, map, it's mostly like a grid. But I know that uh, there's also different kind of arrangement. Like, if you look at the building in 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 city like Paris, it's uh, it tends to have shape like this. Um, so it has the inside and the outside. Um, that's a different setup, but I, I think it's an it's a study in itself. I'll try to make a basic one. I don't know if this ever be like gonna be like a production ready. I think production ready is always more detail and stuff. But yeah, so this is a quick tool demo. I will have another live noting video that's actually recreating this from scratch so this one is arranged in the grid uh, plane pattern but really um, I could easily use like a any kind of a shape to place the building say I'm if I'm using random vector and let's make it like 25 and then I will use rewire to flatten Flatten the vector. I could, I think, I could easily get more like a circular kind of design for the building. You know, like the placement of the building is very important. With the Brave Rabbit one, I think it's a it has some kind of a cleverness underneath. I, I don't know how he did it. But based on the, any grid, he will place the building in a way that uh, it feels like real building place in the position. Um, I'll try importing that thing again. 
from Dropbox. My uh, Qtown test. It's probably like the like a enough building details give you that kind of believability. Oh, where is it? Okay, so it's down there. With the brave rabbit one. I don't know how he arranged it. If you study this a little bit, it might be just like a grid kind of pattern, but it's more like a pack. It has certain arrangement. So the building is not like, it's not totally in grid, it's more like pack, and then it has some kind of interesting pattern. Maybe it's using noise, maybe. But I think. Uh, it can be done. Uh, I'll try to recreate every single building like this in Sphericial as a preset and then I don't know how to implement it but some buildings are pretty simple really but yeah so so the placement of the buildings and the randomization of the building the variations of the buildings and yeah we're gonna try to rebuild this add-on using Sphericial Okay, um, that's uh, my plan. Um, just sharing this idea and kind of a still the alpha version of this setup. Hopefully, we can have something like this in Blender soon. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and let me know in your in the comment section your opinion and feedbacks. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.